I'm Laura and this is Jewelry Etc. We are still working on this box that I got from Facebook Marketplace. Just to sum up again, it was $50 and uh, the seller said there was $1,000 worth of stuff in it. So far that is not the case at all. But there's still a lot of good treats in here. Um, the last couple videos have been kind of meh. But it can turn around and I'm not going to lie. I've kind of been picking through this box a little bit. <laughs> I just came down here yesterday to get something else. And there's still some winners in this box. So let's do this, huh? All right, let's jump in. I just had this sitting in the middle here to kind of give me a guideline for the camera since I tend to do things off screen. All right, we're gonna start with this thing because this is one of the pieces I pulled out yesterday. How amazing is this? It's so reflective, look, you can see. You can see the camera right in the piece. It is a giant crescent. I mean, look at my hand compared to this thing. Huge. And these are all pieces of shell here too. Going up the side. And while we're taking this beauty in, let me remind you that if you see anything you like, feel free to send me an email at jewelryetcchannel at gmail.com to talk about purchasing it or leave a comment below with a timestamp and we can do the same thing. Alrighty, so this one is really fabulous. I will definitely try to sell that. Sadly, I don't have my measuring tape down here so I can't tell you how long it is, but I don't, there's kind of a tangled mess in here. Um, here's some more, is this a, oh, it is a brooch. Look at that happy little snowman. How cute is he? I'm definitely going to do a Christmas lot, I think. That is super duper cute. And this guy's going to go into it. Or holiday, I should say. There's a lot more in there than just Christmas. But now I've accumulated like a million snowman things, it feels like. All right, this, I've looked at this thing a million times. By a million, I think I've pulled it out like five times. I keep looking in the box and I'll throw it back in like, no, I have to look at this on video. And I throw it back in. And then I'm like, what is that stone? And I go to pick it up and I'm like, oh, it's a piece of the same necklace. Because <laughs> in inside the box is pretty messy. Uh, this thing is fabulous. First of all, let me talk about this center stone. Because although it looks artificial, that's an agate. I actually have this exact same stone upstairs uh, in a bigger size pendant that I purchased in a stone lot. I mean, how flipping cool is that? It looks like flames just encased in glass, but it's actually an agate slice faceted. Stunning. It is such a cool piece. And then we have little chips of tiger. Well, I don't say little, they're not that small, but there's tiger's eye chips all over this thing too. So these beads I think are just ceramic beads. They're ceramic. These are ceramic too. This and this are tiger's eye. And there's more tiger's eye here and here and just all the way up the piece. And then there's little AB. Was well, this one AB? This one's not. It's like an amber colored glass bicone bead in there. But then this one up here is amber, but it's got the AB finish on the back side of it. Let's see, there's the back, there's the front. And then these little metal tone pieces throughout. It is just a really, really unique piece. There's more glass beads up here. I don't know what to say about it, except that it's fabulous. I don't believe it's a lobster claw clasp. I don't think it's silver though. Just looking at it, I don't see any stamps or anything. I don't think it's silver, but regardless, it's in pretty good shape. There's no tone loss on it. It looks really good to me. The only thing I'll say is that the jump ring here at the end is just offset slightly. And I might repinch this like clamshell finding there. But other than that, this thing is yummy. Yum, yum, yum. Look at that, that is so cool. I really like this necklace. I do, I do. I don't know. The thing is, I like the components of it. I don't know that this is my taste as far as like actually wearing it goes, but it's so cool. So anyway, I don't know. This will probably end up being up for sale. So if you're interested, let me know. If not, you may see it in a future show. All right, so now, okay. Now we kind of go back to the junk a little bit here. I just don't even know. Well, I mean, look at this. I do see some shell in there though, but I also see a project, <laughs> detangling project. Let me 
get some things out of the way in this box. Let's see if I can pick through individually. Here's another holiday piece. A little witch hat. Kind of looks like straw and a pumpkin. It's like a witch scarecrow hybrid slash Christmas because it's a bell. See, it'll totally transcend the holidays. We're at Christmas too. Not really. All right, what else? And another snowman. Oh, it's a button cover. How many of those do we have? I found a lot in a different lot. It was not this one. All right, here, I'm just gonna, I'm just dump this down here. How about that? And detangle as we go. And I hopefully won't take too terribly long, but hey, that's the risk you run when it comes to tangles. Sometimes they take a second. Okay. Unfortunately, this is all acrylic, but it is still really, really pretty. Look at that cameo. It's just plastic, but it's really nice. I've seen some pretty gnarly plastic ones or they're super like, I don't know, they just aren't done well. This one actually is done decently for being plastic. On this necklace here, let's see. I'm assuming it's probably like a 15 inch like choker length. It's got a whole adjuster down here. Let's see, let's see if I can throw it on my neck and give you a, a guesstimate on size. Ha, huh? that's not too bad. Okay, it looks like it's probably about a 14 inch, 14 inch, give or take. Maybe can go up to a 17. I'll definitely try to sell that, that's cool. That would be a good one coming up for the holidays if anyone wants to do like a Victorian costume or something like that. That could totally work for that. Who knows? Ooh, there's a tiny chain. Those tiny chains, they, they're like clingy ex-girlfriends. They don't wanna let go. Oh, this is a brooch slash pendant. Um, okay, so here's the deal. I'll have to look at the chain to get an idea what this might be, but it looks tarnished, but when I look up at the top, it looks like tone wear. And the back looks like tone wear too. And if that's the case, then it's definitely not silver. LM95. So a brand, LM brand year is probably 95, I would guess. It's cute. I guess we could test it for the sake of testing it, but I, I'm not convinced just looking at it that it's anything, any precious metal anyway. Let's see if I can free the beast. Oh, did I? Okay, there it goes. All right, so we'll go, we'll go ahead and test this guy. Or gal, I guess it's probably female. Well, who knows? Who knows anymore? But do you see what I mean on the head? That's like super shiny. It looks like there's tone coming off, so I just don't think it's silver. But hey, why not? We got a pile for testing, might as well add it to it. All right, here's a stretchy Halloween piece. This lady must have really liked her uh, holiday jewelry. Very festive, whoever this lot belonged to. I don't know if this, the woman that I got it from was a reseller or if this is her personal jewelry she's just trying to de-stash. I have no idea. But what I do know is this stretchy bracelet is just not letting go of stuff. Okay. Okay, let's try this method, just unclasping everything. Declasp. You know, I'm questioning if this camera is even on. I think I hit it though. Here's to hoping <laughs> that I'm not recording all this and none of it's actually recording on the other camera. I know my little camera is though. Anywho, this, uh, probably not silver. It wants to be, maybe it's plated. You super want to be silver, don't you? We'll go ahead and test this one. I see what looks like a possible really faint 925 on the, the clasp there, which is sometimes where they stamp it, but Maybe it's not. I think it's just tone wear. But we'll try it anyway. Oh, just to show you. Kind of reminds me of Chico's style stuff. 
And this design here reminds me of a lot of jewelry that in the 90s that we had had this little like metal um, scroll work on it with the little balls. That was very popular in the 90s on earrings, especially. It was in ball chain necklaces. I don't know if any y'all wore ball chain necklaces, but I know I shamefully did. All right, check this out. Here's some more shell. I don't know if it's, I guess it's technically abalone. There's like an inlaid piece in the middle here. I don't know what that is. A metal of some sort looks like. Huh, interesting. And then I guess these are more shell up here. I can't figure out. Maybe they're just plastic? It doesn't look like plastic. It feels like it, but it doesn't look like it. So I'm not quite sure what that is. This shell, ha it looks like it's set on another type of stone on the back there. Some sort of black stone. But look at that. That is super fun. Fun, reflective. That is definitely a statement piece. And look, I mean, that's pretty darn cool. I always wonder though, if these things will like stay where they need to stay. Or if you're gonna be constantly adjusting your little bib fan all night. I don't know. Whoop, that's something else. I can't see in, in the picture. It's probably about maybe 18 inches. 17 or 18 inches on that one. Yeah, see they're spinning around on me, but the stones are just so cool. I don't know that I care. Or it might be one to restring. So in between you see these threads it's threaded on and oh, it's fishing wire. So this might be one, if it were me, I was keeping this for myself, I'd probably restring this whole piece and then put knotting in between because they're so snug up against each other. They want to like twist around and stay where they are because they don't have any breathing room in between. I bet if you put a bead in between or knotted it in between, it would be a little better, but I'll still try to sell it. I think that's cool. Oh, there's, okay, sorry. I'm doing a red hat lady lot. And I just realized that there's a trump bracelet sitting over there that I forgot about. All right, this one I accidentally picked up, so I'll take a look at it. China. Cool. Is there a stamp on it, though? There is a stamp. Very small. Too small for my eyes to read. I would wager it's a gold-filled piece. Um, but since we're in the testing mood, or I, I am... Faux pearls, too. It's definitely not real gold. Um, I'll probably actually just put this in the wearable lot. I, I highly doubt they would use fake pearls on real gold. So I'm going to throw that to the side. I mean, maybe I should test it anyway, but... Oh, this also was another 90s one that's pretty popular. This flower beaded design of the seed beads. I used to make these. All right, now I'm, okay, I'm, I'm putting it back. I'm going to put this thing back into the testing pile. Just in case. I'm sure it's not real, but we'll test it anyway. One thing about, like, testing metals is there's always clues as to what quality the metal is. You know what I mean? In that case, check out my ring. In that case, um, it's the pearls. I'm putting this in the wearable lot because I don't think it has much value to it. Better lauded, I think. Oh, look at this bunny! Bunny, you're causing me some problems, though. You and your hippity happy ways. Okay, let's see. Ooh, yeah. I see hair. What? Yuck. Oh, man, this one's gonna be a problem child because there's no clasp on it or anything. Right, maybe we can untangle it anyway. Ha! Ha ha. Ha. Okay, this is the last piece. Ha, you're free. You're free to go back to your bunny hole place. Oh, this is two different. Oh, I thought they were on the same thing. <sighs> two more of these holiday pieces. Presumably Easter. He's so jingly. And this is a Thanksgiving necklace. <laughs> That's cute. I'm trying to make a turkey noise. <laughs> I just 
so crazy. That was all terrible and very sad. I just did that on camera. Here's a watch. Studio, New York Studio Quartz. Okay, maybe you're something good, I don't know. New York, New York, New York. Stainless steel back. Fada Industries. Japan Movement. Okay. Another one to look into in that watch pile that I've got. All right, here's another. There's so much of this junk jewelry that I'm just annoyed, you know what I mean? Okay, here's the deal. All right, here's like a religious cross. I think that they're supposed to be nails soldered together, I presume. Um, I have like a cross log going, so I'll probably just put that with all that these I don't know y'all I'll at least make my money back let's just put it that way this is these are all like rings like plastic play rings I don't know if anybody has any like use for that but maybe um as party favors or something at like a girl's birthday party but they're actually big. I mean, this is like a size, this has got to be a size seven. It's not like little girl finger size. That one's maybe a little smaller. I also have a rope on it, so I don't know. But someone strung that up on a necklace and decided, blah, blah. I, that's gonna go in the craft while there's, I don't have anything else to say on that one. I think it's kind of ugly and weird. Okay, so. I see this Millie Fiore necklace here. At least I saw a bead. There. There it is. Bam. So let's see if we can free this one. This one looks like it's got potential. You've got cool factor. But it's just so... It's this one. This stinking stretch bracelet is causing me trouble. Ha! Oh, that's not even the same one. Alright, these are just plastic beads. It's like just costume Mardi Gras beads or whatever. I just don't even know. The problem with these is they're basically like glued on to the thing. I guess I'll play with the craft stuff, but that don't impress me much. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, let's see. Here's another plastic piece. It's an Easter bunny. More Easter jewelry. Hey, hey, hey. The thing is, these are really cute, but I would probably never ever wear them unless my child made it for me. Then maybe. But there are some people out there that really like to deck out for the holidays, their home, and their bodies. <laughs> so, I guess you never know. Like this one. We got a little ghosty guy who is in all likelihood glow in the dark. Okay, so I'm lucky that this thing actually does have a clasp on it. Otherwise, I don't know that I'd ever get it free. There's a clasp. Here's a Mr. Ghost. He's cute. I bet those beads are going in the dark, too. Let me see if I can... Uh, yeah, Ghost definitely is. Can you see? Can I... Can we block out the light so you can see? Can you tell? Probably not. <laughs> Uh, okay, maybe the purple ones aren't? No, maybe they are. I think they are. I think they are. They just need to be lit a bit better. But Ghost Man definitely is, so that's kind of cool. But I'm just going to throw it into this holiday lot anyway. But he's super fun. My three-year-old might like him. He's got like a thing for ghosts for some reason. Friendly ghosts. Every ghost is a friendly ghost according to him. Alright, this is just a metal tone necklace. Sadly, there is some tone coming off. What? The person who owned this lot was a blonde, in case anybody was wondering. See? See this tone? Tone wear coming off of that. These could be such fun beads if they weren't all screwy. So maybe someone can still utilize some of these because they're not all in terrible condition. I mean, this one, and like it does have some wear on it, but it's not nearly as bad. 
Hello camera. This camera's usually pretty darn good about focusing. Alrighty. That, there we go. That's another one to go with that um, Victorian style cameo from earlier. It's really pretty. It's a Napier. Napier. With a patent number on the class. Might be an old one. Fold over vintage clasp. In really good condition. Look at the tone. It's like untouched. Beautiful. There's your Napier and your patent logo. And look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. All the crystals are there. It feels nice. I don't, I, these are definitely faux pearls, I'm assuming. I don't know if they're glass or acrylic though. It's hard to say. But it's in really great shape. This is a small one though. This is definitely a choker style. Shorter choker style. It's probably about 15 inches, maybe a little, a little more, a smidgen more. I'm just using my necklace guide because I forgot my ruler or my measuring tape. But it is really, really pretty. I like this um, kind of floral motif. It's almost like a, a flower opening up with some leaves on the side. But it would be really, really lovely as a necklace. I like that a lot. Ooh, hey. Look at this cloisonne. Ooh, hey. Look at this cloisonne. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh, hey. Look at this cloisonne. Hey, hey. I can't. Okay, there we go. Uh, I can't get behind this. This. I'm not feeling this cord. But this pendant is so gorgeous. And I think it actually matches an earring I found. It says SG on the back. Made in Taiwan. Republic of China. Perhaps a vintage piece? What is that logo? If any of my costume jewelry girls know. You tell me. SG. Oh, swirly SG. Look. What do they call that? A prince and the pauper flower or something like that? There's a hibiscus. I'm not quite sure what the other ones are. But look, I have this earring too. Do you think these are meant to go together? Mm, they're pretty darn similar. So maybe I'll sell this as a lot. Right? Pretty similar. This one's got the butterfly on it. And a heart. Maybe they don't. I don't know. It's hard for me to tell. It's hard for me to tell because the texture behind the, like, see-through enamel is a smidge different. So I don't know that they do go together. It's not quite exactly the same. But they are both awesome and I will definitely try to sell that. Actually, I'm probably going to do some research and try to figure out what that is if nobody in the audience Nobody out there can tell me. All right, we got another Halloween piece. Okay, this guy's almost free. Put you with your friends. Yay! Do you have a name brand? Of course not. Oh, wait, you do. CG? Of course, it's one I have never heard of or seen. Here's the brand on that one, whatever that may be. These are all glass beads. Very pretty. Looks like we've got some chips on there too. That's just acrylic. You, I don't know what you are. It just looks like a tumbled glass of some sort. But look at these Millie Fiore beads. Ah, uh, those are pretty. I like that. Multi-strand. So many strands. I just wish they didn't have these acrylic ones on there. Why did they do that? This one's got like a little pointy do. Let me see if I can cut him off. You don't belong. <laughs> Much better. Sometimes you just gotta fix jewelry as you go. It's just like a piece of the mold was stuck to it and it was poking outward. I don't want anyone to get poked in their neck when they wear this thing. Those are glass. I don't know what they were thinking with those blue I mean they're not if they were glass I wouldn't have such a problem with them I don't know why they would stick plastic pieces on here when everything else is glass 
That silly CG company, they're always doing stuff. I don't know. All right, we've got this. Glass, darn. I'm probably just gonna throw this in a craft lot due to the fact that this tone on this chain is awful. Look how bad it is. I don't believe this is real silver. Uh, and I'll show you why. I mean, I guess I could always test it. I guess I probably should test it. But just the way the tone is wearing makes me feel like it's probably not. But I guess I should. These are all glass. Wait, are you acrylic? You're acrylic? Not a chance. I'm just going to throw this in the craft lot. I don't believe it's silver. Not with a plastic bead on there. These are all glass though, and that's why I'm gonna put in the craft lot because I feel like it's harvestable. These glass beads, those are pretty. Okay, what else we got? Some other silver tone thing, silver tone donut. Uh, on a suede chain, cloth chain thing. Oh, it's got two layers in case you need an extra layer for some reason. I'm trying to move this. There we go. Okay, I just wanted to see if there's a mark on the back, but I don't see one. So I think I'm going to throw this in the tone, in, in the tone lot, in the craft lot because of that donut. Maybe some like suede. I don't know. That suede's actually in decent shape for what it is. And again, we have more metal with tone wear on it. More hair. I might have to sweep down here. When all is said and done, more stretchy beads going to the craft lot. <sighs> the craft lot. We're almost through this. I just. I want to end on a high note, you know what I'm saying? There are a couple more things out here. I'm definitely not. Well, this one looks cool. Let's save that for last, I guess. And then I'm going to cut this one and we'll do one more and then that'll be it. Alrighty, we have a Colts. Kale Colts. That means nothing to me. I've heard of the Colts. I don't know what Kale Colts is. Is that someone's name? putting it in the craft lot. I don't know what to do with that. This feels not so good. I mean, it just feels like a silver tone thing. That chain could definitely be utilized though. Perhaps in this bead. Oh, it's got a crack in it. Ugh. I just, my hesitation is I just don't know if someone could use it or not. You know, I want like okay stuff to go in the craft lot. Some of it's okay. Some of it's Junky. Breast cancer awareness bracelet. Put that in the wearable lot. Oh, okay. All right. We'll finish on this one. Because at first I turned it over, I was like, I guess that's interesting. But look at the other side. The other side's fun too. This just feels like it's probably just a pewter bracelet. But who cares? It's kind of fabulous. We'll test it anyway. Oh, it's Lucky Brand. This is like... <laughs> This always happens to me. I find something I think is super fun and then and by always I mean this is the second time it's happened where I did a live unboxing and I found this lucky bracelet and I was like look how amazing this thing is it's definitely special and it was a lucky brand bracelet but this is cool and I'll definitely try to sell this look it's even got this little butterfly down at the end how darling is he or she and the stones are all there. It's blue on either end and then green in the center stones. Oh, yeah, yeah. Make me an offer if you're interested in this one. Honestly, I need to sell some things, but this one is tempting to keep because... Look at all my wrists. It's so cute. I kind of dig that. Ugh, alas, I should not keep any more things but man do I want to this one's actually in even nicer condition than the last one I found last one had some tones starting to come off the back and it was like copper kind of color was shining shining through showing through all right I'm calling it quits there
we're almost through. So stay tuned for the next one. I think that'll be the last of going through this box. And then I gotta test some metals from the box. And then we will put this behind us and pretend the majority of it never happened. Sound good? Cool. Give this video a thumbs up. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. And thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully we'll see you all in the next one. Thank you again. Bye.